There is a saying that people love to quote, and that saying is demons run when good men go to war. However, no one tells you that the war takes place on the battlefield at your local Walmart, and the demons that they speak of are the people shopping there. <laughs> And with all of that context I just laid, I personally think that if they ever did a live action adaptation to Demon Slayer that Agent Sebastian from Cartnarks should play Tanjiro. I'm Agent Sebastian, I'm the founder of the Cartnarks. Cartnarks are an independent organization that tries to get people to just take their cart back to the cart return. That's not where the cards go, that's the mulch. When I do see that some lazy bones has left their cart out, I turn on the wand of justice and activate the mouth siren. Wiggly weep skeep weep weep weep. That's not where the cards go, that's the middle of the spot. I think when the Bible made reference to having faith without works, this is exactly what they had in mind. On a side note, did you see how fast Agent Sebastian ran? Wiggly weep skeep weep. And right now you're probably thinking, so what? That was kind of slow. I could probably run faster than that. And to that, I would say wrong. We've had hundreds of encounters. I've had many threats on my life being a card narc. Besides a guy pulling a gun on me, I've had multiple people say they're gonna run me over. There's definitely an adrenaline rush. Go f yourself, card narc. How about that? This is my uniform. It, I have an equipment vest, which is actually a bulletproof vest. I put my body camera right here captures everything that happens so nobody can lie about it afterwards. Much like Batman has his trusty tool belt, Agent Sebastian has his trusty bulletproof vest. But what he hasn't told you about is the shiny red cape that is attached to the back or how he gets changed in phone booths. And since it's now 2024 and payphones are no longer really a thing, a trusty elevator in a parking garage will do in a pinch. You just have to be careful that the homeless aren't sleeping in there. You don't want to disturb their rest. Ew, it's insensitive to call them homeless. Well, they wouldn't be homeless if they just bought a house. Look, that's how the terrorists win, is when brave men do nothing. Is when, when- Terrorists in the Target parking lot? Yeah, absolutely. That's like the number one place that Al Qaeda goes to recruit their jihadists. There is nothing more terrifying than a Karen-esque white bitch throwing a fit outside of Target because she hasn't had her Starbucks yet. And ladies, if you're offended by what I just said, do me a favor, go to the bathroom, look in the mirror and realize that you are the problem. It's me, hi. I'm the problem, it's me. There you go, ladies. Taylor Swift told you how to do it. I showed you how to do it. There should be no more excuses. Also, let me know how I looked with the bold glamour filter. They say if you look ugly, then you got bad genetics. Wait, let me skip. Wee, 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 wee. That's a, look, they had a cart return right over there. It's right on the other side, but it's all the way on the other side. We skip. We whip skip, whip, whip. Your cart's right there. You left your cart blocking the spots. We'll see. I think she's getting out. This is what I call a loaded question because no, he does not work at Target. However, he is doing the Lord's work. And if you missed that scripture in Sunday Bible School, it is under Sebastian 316, for I will send my only begotten son to call you a lazy bones for not returning thy shopping cart to the proper receptacle. I'm with the Cart Narcs. We're a highly trained group of sexy agents who help folks take the cart back when they momentarily think about leaving it out, blocking other people. Can you do this like seven days a week? Excellent question. The answer is no, he does not do this seven days a week for on the seventh day he rested. Good question. I would like to, but I don't. But I could be anywhere, anytime. Point being now, we have this cart here. Can roll away and hit a car. But you guys are great people who are going to turn. I'm sorry? I understand. I've been there. You've been, oh, you've been, you've been had your car hit by a cart? No, no I've worked pushed like cart. him the cart. Oh, right. And. Right. I know this part is kind of confusing, so let me break it down for you. These two people are incoherently answering for each other. Apparently, the man in the car used to work as a cart pusher, and he has gone on strike and refuses to push another cart 
anywhere. While making this video, it made me think about the people that are actually employed to do this job and how they must feel about people leaving their carts out everywhere. So I called a local grocery store to ask what it was like. Thanks for calling Beyond Agency. How may I direct your call? Hi, can I speak with the manager on duty? Yes, hold one moment. Thank you. And after being on hold for about five minutes, I got to speak with Tommy, who is a manager at the store, and he had some great things to say and things that we can all take away from this meeting. Thank you for choosing. Man Agency, this is Tommy speaking. How can I help you? Hey, Tommy. Um, my name is James. This is going to be a weird question. I'm actually doing a video about people not returning their shopping carts to the proper receptacles. And I was wondering if I maybe could ask a few questions. Um, sure. My question or question number one would be, how often do you think people just leave their shopping carts by their cars or wherever they were parking instead of returning them? Um, depends on the weather. Stormy days all the time. Sunny days, not frequently. Not frequently on sunny days. That's good. So, um, you know, there's a saying out there that's saying something along the lines of you can tell the morality of people by their willingness to return a shopping cart. So that's that's good to know that on sunny days where the weather's not so bad, it's pretty good. How do, how do you feel about that? I know on one hand that it creates a job opportunity for somebody to actually go and collect the carts, but how do you personally feel about that? I mean, if they're putting them in the proper spot they go, they still have the job anyway. So, I mean, it, it, it just makes it easier so they don't have to wander. They can just go to the things, you know? Absolutely. So it's just like making the job easier for the person that has to go collect them. Yep. Okay. That's and what I would say. Yeah, I, I, I completely agree with you. And if there is one thing that you could tell the world, even though this is probably only going to be seen by like 25 people, what would that be when it comes to returning your shopping carts? Um, Just put them back. And if you see somebody with like a cane or something that can't, put them back for them, you know, if you're headed that way. Absolutely. Taking care of your community. Yep. Okay, well, Tommy, thank you so much for that. Um, I might, I do you want me to leave your name in? Is that fine? Is that okay? Oh, no, it doesn't matter. Okay, that's that's awesome. Thank you so much for that. I know it's a weird question, um, but I really appreciate it. No, you're good. All right, buddy, have a good one. You too. Bye. And just like that, much similar to the way that Agent Sebastian changed my life and the way that I look at returning shopping carts, Tommy made me realize that it's not about only myself returning the shopping cart, that I can be a better service to my community by helping people that are less able than myself return their shopping carts as well. Back to the funny. And so yeah, eventually the cart returners will be out here, certainly. But in the meantime, that cart is loose. Yeah, I still have to be late. No! <laughs> At least you didn't lie about it, though. Yeah. But don't you want to feel better? You know how good you'll feel at home? It's like when you, you, you always, like, oh, I don't want to go to the gym. But when you're done with the gym, you're like, I'm glad I went to the gym. You know, some people have, like, hyper, like, health things that Shh. you shouldn't, like, ask about. I am so confused. I had to watch that clip back and try to understand the part where he asked for any medical information. And sure enough, at no point does he ask for any relevant medical information or any information at all. He just says, hey, do you remember when you went to the gym and you felt good afterwards because of the endorphins? It's the same process as when you return your cart. You feel good because you're a good person. Have I asked about your health yet? No, but you don't know if like someone is unable or... That's true. They need to take advantage of the... Absolutely correct. But what I've seen so far... You should talk to people, but not like... Nicely like I am so far? Have I been, haven't I been sweet? Trying to like stop us as we're as we're truly present. I'm just, I just waved you down. That's all I did. I, no, I'm not trying to say that this is a bad thing. Like, I'm not yes. at all. Thank you. Look at that man. Look what he's doing. Look, he's doing the right thing. Great job, sir. Okay. Maybe approaching it in a different way where you talk to people about like, hey, did you know that a lot of carts are less... Isn't that what I've done so far? The answer to the question that Agent Sebastian just asked is yes, because Agent Sebastian is a professional. He always tries to keep the conversation professional, even when people take it to places where it is no longer professional. Right, right. I got your attention with my wand, so for safety, make sure you knew who I was and what I was talking about. I feel like I've done what you're asking. 
For me, it's the boomer-like blank stare as you can see the two neurons that they have in their brain cells firing, trying to come up with a reason where he's wrong. So now that, now that we've had a great talk. Like, instead of trying to tell people like you're a bad person. Go, I didn't say bad person. I mean, that's kind of, instead of maybe just educate people like, the statistics of how many cars get hit by cars. It's, it's not good. Maybe talk about like the actual facts and information rather than right. standing in front of someone's car. Right, but I can't, I gotta like wave you down because I can't talk through your window, right? A valid point is brought up by both sides. Agent Sebastian cannot talk to you through your window as it distorts the sound of his voice. And I'm pretty sure that the guy that potentially makes a living from doing this and posting it online does have the statistics of cars hit every year by loose shopping carts. However, if he does not, that would be great information to have on hand to educate the people. Because God knows the school system doesn't teach you anything. How do I file my taxes? Speaking of taxes, there there's a guy at work named Logan who refuses to upgrade his car even though he's a car guy because he thought TurboTax was a way for the government to get more money out of car guys. And these people can vote. All right, our man in the gray t-shirt here, he might get an assist from the cart boy, which would be uh, always acceptable. It looks like he's gonna go ahead and push it through to the, oh no, he's going to just block the disability walk set, uh, walk area like this person before him has done. Thinking back to my conversation with Tommy, I see that this is an elderly man who may struggle to get around. Yet, instead of having the self-awareness to push the cart to the person that's already on their way to return the carts to the store, they decide to make it more difficult for people who potentially may have a harder time getting around than they do. That's the old boomer mentality in play. Who gives a shit about anyone else as long as I'm okay? Let's see how somebody as professional and capable as Agent Sebastian would handle this situation. Oh no, someone left their cart blocking the walkway. Who would do such a thing? Anybody you know? That's not where the carts go. You might still get saved by the uh, the cart boy here because he's in the, he happens to be in the area. People say, oh yeah, they got, by the way, I think this lady's smoking. I think that's her, hers right there too. I do have compassion that these people are in the handicapped spots as well. However, I also have enough common sense to understand that there are people that are employed by the store to help you take your groceries to your car that will return the cart once they are done. How do I know this? Well, that's because I did what anybody else would do. I asked. We don't have a cart corral in our parking lot. We, um, Part of our service is that we take the groceries out and load them in the car for the customer and we bring the carts back in. Terrible, terrible, terrible. I got our lazy bones shuriken magnet there. Oh yeah, yeah, imagine, sir, I hate to- Are you an employee of No sir, I'm the cart narc. So what he did is he left his uh, cart blocking the handicap access area. So if you have a wheelchair now, you're blocked. hi -ya! <laughs> Oh yeah, stop being an ass. See, I, I didn't use that word. You, but see, the, the ass is the person who left their cart blocking the handicap area. Thank you, by the way, I appreciate that. You got saved by these nice people. Oh. The shopper who left their cart in the passageway for wheelchairs has the nerve to call Agent Sebastian an asshole. There is no self-awareness going on in this situation whatsoever. And just remember that these people can vote. And just know that Agent Sebastian is an angel because he's only throwing magnets. I'd be throwing fucking hands. Let me give you a little bug magnet because uh. Well, or let's say a, a, a mother with her stroller. You want to get yeah. through here? People like you throw this fucking shit in here. I will kick your fucking ass. I, I, That's my property, so leave it alone, alright? Sir, oh, fuck it alone. I blocked Stop your. It. I blocked your attack. They say a good defense is the best offense. They say a. <laughs> they say a good defense is the best offense. And Asian, <laughs> Asian Sebastian. Oh my god. They say that the best offense is a good defense, and Agent Sebastian is a tank. Not a panzer tank, but like a prot paladin tank. I don't care, stop it! And number two... Stop it! Sir, did you, did you learn your lesson at least? Stop putting shit in my car, all right? For me, it's having the same energy as this clip. Look, we were just out shopping all day. We just want to go into my apartment and relax, so bye-bye. Spent like $48, so you're not being clever at this point, all right? You're being mean, you're being stupid. It's orange soda in my mouth. What the F? You put it in my mouth. What the F? How did you get it in my mouth? Please stop, you demon. You're a demon. What the hell? Please stop. First off, 
fuck you up, all right? First off, how old are you, sir? No, you're not. Number one. Yes, I will. How, what are you going to do? You're touching my property. Sir, th no offense. This is a, what, a Kia something or other? Oh, now you're putting me down? You're what? putting down my vehicle? You're what? the one who... You have a, you have a Beamer? You have sir, a fucking Beamer? That's not the point. The point is... No, no, no. The point is... You're, the you point is you're, pre you're pretending like it's you're something valuable. Asshole. You're an asshole. You're you an do it discreetly. Talk to the person. I, I tried to wave you down and you ignored me. I don't me. care. I don't care. bro. Why didn't you come and talk to me about it like a man? Hey, dude, I tried to wave you down. I don't care, bro. I don't care. Fuck you. <laughs> This is the Fury! We're gonna take a look at one more Cartnarks video, but I just wanted to take a second to thank you all for subscribing to the channel and give a big shout out to the one person who signed up for my Patreon, Max Enderman. So thank you so much for the support. It means the world. If you are getting value out of this content and would like to provide some value back, I will link my Patreon down in the description. There's not a lot on it, mainly because I don't know what to do with it, but thank you and I will figure it out or we can figure it out together. Lady here in the black, she's looking for a car return. You can tell she really wants to put it in the right place. But now she's just a four corner spitman. You could have walked just a little bit further and got it to the car return, madam. I'm sorry? I'm yeah, I'm sorry, I'll turn my siren, am I? You could have walked- Don't talk to me like that, what's wrong with you? Oh, I'm, I'm the I'm the agent camera with the car You could have walked just a little bit further, got it in the it's looked all around. It's right over there. I'll show it to you. This is an actual valid opportunity that grocery stores could capitalize on. Sure, it might cost them a little bit extra money. However, much similar to the you are here sticker that you see on a placard when you walk into the mall. Maybe if they were to use the same type of paint that they use to draw the lines on the ground, just a message that says cart return this way, that would help a lot or give them maps because clearly people can't use their fucking eyes to look around then again maybe her eyes don't work because mr beast didn't choose her for the cataract surgery it's not her fault would you like to take it for me since you're a cart mark would you like to ask me nicely and sweetly what is wrong with you oh uh nothing wrong with me i'm here are to go getting, are you getting paid to do this man you're jumping to all the, the classic one-liners the lazy bones i am here to help you know it what, what? Don't talk, don't talk to me right But now. I have to because you left your card out. It's my job. Can you write me a ticket? Well, I've got, a, I've got sort of a ticket here. Yeah, why don't you write me a ticket? It says, I don't return my shopping cart like a jerk. I'll do it, just put it right there. Get the fuck away from my car. I thought you said you wanted a ticket. Maybe this interaction actually shows an area that Agent Sebastian lacks in much as other men do in this situation. And it is understanding what women truly want. They tell you they're not hungry, but when you don't buy them food, they eat yours. You are unbelievable. No, the person who leaves their card up on the curb is unbelievable because now it's harder for Don't come near my car again. I thought you wanted your ticket, ma'am. Don't come near my car again. You changed your mind awful quick. I hope you're recording. Why is that? It's like a joke. Well, yeah, people leave their carts out our jokes. You're right. Here, I got a litter bug magnet for you. To the untrained eye, it would appear that he decided to change his mind about putting the magnet on her car. However, since I am the world's leading expert in cart narcology, I am here to inform you that this method is called the fake out. The fake out happens when he goes to place the magnet, but he does not place it. However, they still get out of the car believing that he did. This is a tactic often deployed by top level narcoteers and should not be attempted by those at home. I can't hear you. He took her glasses off. Behind you, ma'am, there's a person behind you. I can't hear you, ma'am. Wee! -hoo. Gotcha! Now she's not, <laughs> she's cussing through that windshield. <sighs> see, but that, that's classic uh, uh, hand in the cookie jar behavior right there, Narcoteers. Let's see if she stops and gets out. Classic. This is where I think she actually outsmarted Agent Sebastian, because unlike me who has ordered thousands of dollars of cart narc merchandise from online, she actually gets away with the magnet for free. That is a lie, I am broke, I can't afford it, subscribe to the Patreon. And with that being said, I'm going to pass it over to Agent Sebastian to have the last words. I don't know what it is, we, we seem to do a good job, ma'am. We seem to turn into absolute toddlers when we know we're wrong. It's it's this weird little, I know, it just shows that we, <laughs> maybe human beings aren't as evolved as we thought. 